What's going on guys, I'm with the Moose, and today we have a new Combine Warrior. It's actually the second to last Combine Warrior. There's only going to be one more, and it should come out next Friday, of course. But um, this Pierre Garçon is a 99 overall. Gives a plus two to catch and traffic for your entire team. Pretty nice to see that. Let's see if any of the items are up. Generally what we like to do, around 20k for the player. Those usually drop to around 2 to 3k, you guys know that. And then these collectibles are usually around, you know, 20 to 30k. Uh, you know, after the first day. First day, you might have to pay, you know, 40k for them or whatever. As you guys can see, that's pretty much what these are going for. So it looks like this is a pretty standard Combine Warrior set. That one's going for a ton. Definitely don't pay for that. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty standard Combine Warrior set. Does give a 99 overall PR Garcon. Should be pretty cool. And if you guys pick him up, let me know how he is. But we also got a new flashback in packs, and it's actually the final flashback they're adding in. I guess something sold right here. But yeah, it's actually the final flashback pack or flashback player, I should say, that they're adding. Um, and this is it from Mutt15, I guess, for flashbacks. Uh, they definitely had a good run. I thought it was pretty cool what they did with Flashback Friday. I wish they had done it all season and not just, you know, after the after the season ended. But um, another thing they did to the flashback set was actually removed all the 93 overall and lower players. So I actually think there's only 95 overall and higher players now. Uh, the lowest being, you know, Mario Williams, Julius Peppers, Kevin Williams, James Harrison. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean... No matter what you do with this pack, you're pretty much going to get a decent player. Uh, that's at least, like I said, a 95 overall or so. At least that's what Shouts47 said. If you guys don't know who he is, he's um, you know one of the developers from Mutt on Twitter. Definitely check him out on Twitter. And check me out on Twitter, too, if you want to check him out. But uh, let's see who we want in this one. Um, I didn't even mention the new flashback player is Fred Blitnikoff. No picture of him yet, and I can't find him on the auction house. But he, I think he has like 103 catch in traffic. Just crazy. Hopefully I can pick him up. That would be a crazy pull, of course. Probably go for like 500k plus just because it's the first day he's out. Um, but who knows if I'll be able to get him. That would be sick, though. Um, yeah, we got Jerry Bird. Kurt Warner wouldn't be that great. Joe Montana would be pretty cool. Peyton Manning. Uh, D'Angelo Hall would probably be the best one right now. I think he's the most expensive at the moment. Um, Ellis Dumer would be cool. That came out last week, if I believe, or if I remember correctly, something like that. Uh, Tukul Jackson is actually a really good card. I think I've showed you guys this before, uh, but he actually has like, you know, 84 catching. That's just absurd. I'd love to pick up that. Dequell looks very, very good. Philip Rivers would be cool, but not the most expensive pull. Reggie Wayne and so on. You guys can see Ed Reed would be cool still, and Charles Woodson as well. So I think we're going to hop into the flashback pack. You guys know we've been doing this every Friday, and now since they're not doing any more flashbacks anymore, new flashbacks that is, I don't know if I'll continue this. Let me know if you guys want to see more flashbacks every single Friday. It was, a, it was a plan of mine for the summer, to be honest, to just open a flashback pack every single Friday because I assume they're going to keep it up and keep new players feeding into the game. But if they're going to stop, I don't know if I want to continue. But if you guys want to see it, I'll absolutely do it. I do enjoy uh, you know, opening these flashback packs. It's definitely a lot of fun. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more flashback packs. But uh, let's get right into it with this one. All right, here we go with the flashback pack. Can we clutch Fred Blitnikoff? That would be crazy. It'd be the first time I pulled a flashback Friday player in a flashback pack. So let's see if we can scoop him up. At the very least, I want a 99 overall. Who is it going to be? And we get a Charles freaking Woodson. Let's go. 97 overall, 6'1", 96 speed, 97 man, 95 zone, 92 press. He had one of the best defensive seasons in NFL history in 2009. He finished with nine picks, four forced fumbles, and three defensive TDs. That's crazy. I wonder what his catching is. Probably insane. 88 catching. Woo! This Charles Woodson's sick. Um, and looks like the flashback pack really could be a very, you know, maybe not wise investment, but, you know, a very cool thing to open up since there's pretty much only high overall players now. But I want to see what James Harrison's going for. Or not James Harrison. What the hell am I saying? Charles Woodson. I don't know how I said James Harrison. I think I saw his picture and pretty much just that became the word that I was going to say. So Charles Woodson, what is he going for? 200k. Let's go. This flashback set probably cost me maybe 150k or so. Um, I got most of the elite badges for around 20k or less. So uh, I think it's like 7 elite badges. 7 times you know 20 is 140k. And then add in the miscellaneous you know bronze and silver badges. Probably around 150 to 160k. So it looks like I'll be making a little bit of a profit on that. Or maybe I'll hold on to this Charles Woodson and give it away in a future video. Let me know if you guys would like to see me give this card away. But that will do it for the flashback pack. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. And like I said, let me know if you want to see a flashback pack every Friday, despite the fact that they're not putting in any new ones. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.